all of these images have in common? These images were all generated by AI, meaning that a computer made these images and not any one specific artist. Technically, these were generated by something called machine learning, which is a statistical model or algorithm with certain parameters and a structure that determines an output given an input. And so recently, a new algorithm called Stable Diffusion came out for free, open source on the internet, where it basically takes text and converts it into an image. So as you can see in this example here, this image with a gray bearded Viking cyborg wearing a VR headset was generated by an algorithm, which is literally super amazing. And the possibilities for this are infinite. So as a game dev, I already saw a lot of uses for this. And so I wanted to make it easy for people to use this technology in their games. So as a game dev who doesn't really do the art side of the process, I already saw amazing uses for this in my case. And so I wanted really to make it easier for people to use this technology in their games. And so with that, I set out and I made Pixela.ai which is a website you can now visit. And it's basically a library of images generated by the Stable Diffusion algorithm that can be used as textures or as art inspiration or as even characters in your games. So you can browse the images by scrolling, you can search for specific images, you can view the image detail by clicking on it, and it shows you the prompt, it shows you if it has a negative prompt, the seed, and the guidance scale. And so I'll be going over all of this in another video on what this all means, along with how to generate these images. And you can also download the image so you can use it directly in your game. The images I personally uploaded are tiled, which means you can stack them perfectly on each other and they will be seamless. So that's useful for repeating textures that you may need. And as an example, if you want to use one of these in Unity, you just go ahead and search the one you want. You would download it. Then if you also want to generate a normal map for it, which gives it the appearance of having depth, you can go on this website called Normal Map Online, link below, and you just drag your image in and it generates a normal map for it automatically, which you can then download as well as an image. Then in Unity, you can drag in your two images, the generated one and the normal map. Then you can right click and create a new material. And all you have to do is drag the generated image into the albedo parameter and the normal map image you can drag into the normal map parameter. And you also have to click fix now if Unity gives you a pop up saying that the normal map isn't formatted correctly. And so then you can just apply that material to your image and adjust the tiling parameters and voila, you have a super cool 3D model with a texture on it that looks real. And it was free to generate this texture and you can now make any sort of texture you want possible without any art skills. And so how am I generating these images? I'll go over this in a separate video, but I'm using Atomic 1111's Stable Diffusion Web UI GitHub repo. And so you can go through the download instructions in their readme. And once you've downloaded and run it, you can now go to the text to image tab. You can input a prompt. You can also input a negative prompt, which is things you don't want in the image. You can adjust the parameters for the width and the height. I recommend 512 by 512, which is what the images were trained on. And make sure to select the tiling option, which would generate the image in such a way that it's tiled automatically. And you can increase the batch size to generate more images or the batch count. The CFG scale basically determines how strongly the image should conform to the prompt. And you can hover over a lot of these parameters and it will pop up with a tooltip on what they mean. And so once you've generated your image, you can now save it, which it saves it to the log directory in the repo. And if you'd like to upload it to Pixela, you just go on Pixela, you click upload your texture and you can click the plus button and you can select any image that's generated with the algorithm. And it also supports bulk upload. So you can select multiple images at a time. And it will actually check if this image is generated with stable diffusion. So please only upload images that are generated with AI because that is the point of the website and so we don't have enough images yet so i do need your help uploading these images so if you see any textures that you generate that are good 
please upload them so other people can also have access to these awesome textures. So I hope you'll find this tool as useful as I do, and I hope to add more features and make it faster as well. And if you're so kind to support the project and myself, I do have a Patreon and a Ko-Fi that helps me pay the bills and keep doing cool stuff like this. And thank you to all my awesome patrons and supporters who make all of these awesome videos possible. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button the like button and the bell notification icon to be notified on upcoming videos. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.